streaming one video, two videos, three videos, and a virtual machine running, all from the F2425, with the system almost idling. Hello, and welcome to another NAS review. Today we have the F2425 Plus from Terramaster, which is a hybrid NAS that combines HDDs and SSDs, not only for faster speeds, but also for extended storage capacity. This NAS is perfect for enthusiasts, offices, and small businesses. And today we'll go through the installation process and all the features to help you decide if it's the right NAS for you. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Starting with the unboxing, we get the NAS itself, screws, a LAN cable, a power supply, and the manual and warranty information. Build quality seems solid. We have an aluminum body, two HDD bays, and a USB port on the front along with the power button. On the back, we have a reset button, an HDMI port, dual 5 gigabit ethernet ports, dual USB-A 10 gigabit per second ports, as well as a single USB-C 10 gigabit per second port. On the bottom, we can see air vents and screws. The HDD bays can be easily removed and support both 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch drives. By unscrewing the two screws at the bottom and sliding the hardware out, we reveal the M.2 slots, and we can see that the housing is indeed made from aluminum. As we can see, it supports three NVMe drives and comes with a single 8GB RAM module installed, which you can upgrade if you like. There is a cooling plate on the CPU, and the overall design, along with the fan, helps cool all the components. I installed two NVMe's as well as two hard drives for our testing. Don't hate on me for using ordinary drives, this is just for testing, not to mention that storage prices have skyrocketed at the moment. Drive installation is super easy. You pull the clips, place the drive, and put it back together. You can use the included screws, but I skipped that part here. An amazing feature is that this NAS is hot swap capable, and you don't even need to format the drive. It just reads the data directly, so you don't lose your files. Now let's plug it in and go through the initialization process. To initialize it, you download the software on your PC. It will automatically find the NAS on your network, and from there you go through the setup process. You give it a name and create a local admin account. What I noticed is that it did not ask me what type of configuration I wanted, and instead automatically selected T-RAID which is a cool TerraMaster feature that automatically utilizes maximum capacity and redundancy depending on the drives you install. Let's see what it has to offer. First of all, you can create and manage users, create user groups, shared folders, set up domains as well as domain users and groups, create remote folders, and even mount your own cloud folders for easy access. In the Network tab, we have all our network settings, and you can even add an optional Wi-Fi USB adapter if you like. It supports all the file services you could possibly need, such as SMB, FTP, NFS, and WebDAV. It also supports terminal and SNMP access, as well as standard Windows Discovery, or Bonjour, if you're an Apple user. Last but not least, it supports remote access, which can be super convenient for users who need to access their files remotely. Moving on to Storage Manager, we have an overview of our volumes, storage pools, and of course, the installed storage drives. We can add a virtual disk or a USB device, such as a USB flash drive or external hard drive. We can also configure hot swap drives and assign drives for hypercache. Of course, we also have general settings like language, power options, scheduled tasks, and notifications. Last but not least, there is system information, monitoring, running processes, and logs. Because the system automatically set the RAID disk arrangement type, I deleted the configuration and set up a new one. As you can see, it is completely customizable. You can select T-RAID, as I mentioned earlier, as well as JBOD, RAID 0, RAID 1, or RAID 5 configurations. I went with T-RAID for the two hard drives and one NVMe, and I set the second NVMe as a standalone drive. Let's test transfer speeds now. I'm using only one LAN port in this test because of my router's port limitations. Transferring one gigabyte and three gigabyte video files to the NVMe was almost instant, achieving maximum speeds limited by the network. Transferring a 50 gigabyte video file was slightly slower, but still within the expected five gigabits per second range. Note that these are write speeds to the NVMe drive. Now things get very interesting. Transferring 1GB and 3GB video files to the hybrid HDD and NVMe pool 
was also almost instant. Copying the 50 gigabyte folder performed very well too, with speeds staying almost constantly above 300 megabytes per second. This shows how its smart technology not only utilizes the NVMe for speed, but also uses it as a storage drive, giving you the best of both worlds. It basically uses the NVMe for hot data and the HDD for cold data, increasing performance when needed. Read speeds were, of course, limited only by the network speed, which can be doubled by using the second LAN port. The TerraMaster Hybrid Series also supports storage expansion through a DAS. You can connect an HDD or NVMe DAS, like the one I have here, and expand your storage even further. You can use this extra storage to expand your pools and RAID arrays. Thanks to 10 gigabit per second USB support, transfer speeds are as good as they can be. And when combined with the dual 5 gigabit Ethernet network ports, you get seamless data transfers to all your network devices. This is a very nice feature to have. Now let's talk about backup, which is arguably the most important reason you might need a NAS in the first place. TerraMaster offers plenty of backup features. What I really like about the backup app is that it first explains the different methods, purposes, and use case scenarios to help you decide. These include R-Sync, Snapshots, Time Machine Backup, Duple Backup, which is a disaster recovery tool, USB Backup, and even Cloud Backup. It basically covers all the methods you could possibly want or need. Moving to the App Store, we have a wide variety of apps covering almost any need you might have, such as Plex, Jellyfin, Virtual Machines, and of course, Docker. TerraMaster also has a community section with third-party apps for even broader support. For any bugs or issues, you can use the Support and Help tab or visit their forums. Last but not least, there is AI Gallery Search Support, which can recognize people, scenes, and places, making searching easier and more fun, a very helpful feature to have. So, what makes the F2425 Plus stand out from its competitors? Apart from the hardware and software advantages, the biggest benefit of choosing a hybrid series NAS is the ability to combine NVMe and HDDs not only for cache or standalone pools, but also for higher performing RAID arrays. This gives you more flexibility, extended storage, and optimized overall performance. If you want to combine NVMe speeds with the price advantage of HDDs, it's definitely worth considering either the F2425 Plus or the F4425 Plus. If speed is not as important, you can go with the non-plus series, which are more budget-friendly and perfect for home and personal use. All TerraMaster products can be controlled through their mobile app, which allows remote access, backups, and application management directly from your phone. With the newly released TOS 7 operating system, the experience is elevated even further. With that said, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description so you can check current prices and maybe grab one for yourself. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. See you in the next one!